Uh, I'm over here at Ross's compound. And, <laughs> and we came up with a redneck. I, th I think we've thrown that term around a little bit. We've come up with a redneck, uh, I think it's called a manometer or a manometer. Um, and basically this is, I think I have problems with my pistons and my rings. I think I'm losing compression. So um, this is just a way to crudely gauge uh, what the difference is. Uh, we have my truck and then we also have another gentleman's truck here and they both have the Cummins engine in it so we're going to use my truck which I think is bad and we're going to gauge and see what we get uh, against his truck which we think is good he's not I'm burning one gallon every 5,000 miles he's burning maybe one gallon every oil change at 20 25,000 miles so I've got major oil consumption I think my pistons and rings uh, and my cylinder liners might be bad so this is what we're going to do to test it Basically what we have is we have a, a three-quarter inch uh, male adapter. It's got the male threaded and it's got the uh, cement to a three-quarter inch uh, CPVC. You can get this at any Home Depot or Lowe's, any hardware store, um, CPVC uh, pipe. And then that's going to go to a three-quarter inch to a half inch reducer. Then we have a three-eighths rubber hose. It's a fuel uh, line. It's a fuel yeah, line? From the auto parts store. Okay, you get it from the auto parts store? Yeah. yeah. And it's, a, it's three eighths in here and it's half, half inch, inch on the outside, yeah. OD. So it plugs right into there. Fits tight. Fits a nice seal. And then we're going to run this to our clear half tube. Inch hose. This is half inch hose. Clear tubing. Clear yeah. tubing. And what we do is uh, we've already actually performed this test and we're just going to, now that we know the test works, we're going we're gonna to share it with you. But we've drawn lines on there and basically an uh, increase in pressure any difference in pressure you can show it but once it sits still it should always be zero unless there's pressure on one side or the other and you'll see just a little bit <laughs> makes it move okay so we're gonna plug this in and we're gonna turn it on and see <coughs> now why are we why, why are we connected here uh, uh, I'm gonna show this okay that's good I don't know how other shops do it I know there's proper ways I can look it up on quick serve or all this you know professional way to do it I don't know if I trust all that sometimes. What I did was I took the dipstick out. The dipstick tube is, is basically the same size on both motors and the same length. So you can't just plug all the holes and check to see how much pressure you're getting in a crankcase, crankcase all together. You can't do that. It's just going to build pressure endlessly. So you have to have some relief somewhere and then some, you know, other place where you can check the pressure against, you know, a, like a balance of relief versus buildup. You can't just let it build up forever. So we're gonna pull, we pull the dipstick out. We're gonna use that as the relief for the system for the crankcase, and it's got a set amount. You know, it's got a set size hole and tube distance and all that. So it's gonna give us a good base for the amount it'll allow out as a steady. You know, from one truck to the next. I don't like to to use uh, the oil fill tube or this tube here uh, as my test because you don't know what the crankcase filter, what condition the crankcase filter is. I mean, yeah, you can put a new crankcase filter in or you, can, you have a used one, old one. I don't like the variance in the equation for the crankcase filter, so I figure we pull it off here before the crankcase filter and we use this adapter and we put this adapter on instead of the crankcase filter so that that takes it out of the equation and uh, we clamp it on there and then we just leave this opening here for the oil uh, fill tube and we leave the, the oil filler cap on. That way we've got a place in the engine when it builds pressure for some relief and some blow by. That way it's consistent without the, you know, you don't have to worry about the crankcase filter or differences anywhere else in the engine. So, And, and then what, what we're going to do, it might get a little bit loud, but what we're going to do is we're going to show that at an increase in RPM, this level will raise up. So at an idle, which I idle about 690, 700 RPM, at an idle, it'll be a set distance. But as we increase our RPMs to 1500 RPM, you'll notice that I'll get a greater separation. And I'll ruin it. I'm going to go ahead and ruin the ending. On the good truck, there is no separation. It, it stays whether it idles or, or whether it's 1500 RPM. The levels stay the same. Just about the same. Just Maybe, about the same. Yeah. Just a little bit. But with mine, you'll see how great the difference is. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Up. Oh. The bottom of this really don't matter as long as you got it. Yeah. I'm, it's, it don't matter where it's at. I'm filming the where you got your hands. You just got to keep this vertical. <laughs>
that's a truck that uses one gallon of oil every 5,000 miles or yeah. so. Rolling. All right, Yanko. We All right, ready? now we have. Oh, you want me to start? What's his nickname? Yanko. Oh, Yanko. Uh, Cellnet. 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 Yeah. Now we have Cellnet's truck. His truck uses maybe one gallon of oil if he's lucky in 25,000 miles, not one gallon every 5,000. We're going to crank his truck up. You got that? Same test, same setup, same parts. Connecting the same way. Use it. <laughs> Look how much better that was. Yeah. That's insane. What's the difference, right? You can see it on the YouTube video. How about that? You can watch it later. <laughs> I didn't see what was going on. There you go. Yes, sir. That's good. I mean, that's an easy way to check it. Place your pistons and rings just based on that. You, you go get it done properly. Yeah. But this will give you an idea. Hey, do I have a problem yeah. here? Am I chasing the wrong ghost? Yeah. Is you it, know, what's causing else? my oil consumption? Yeah. It's a good start point, you know, just to just to have in your, you know, doing the backyard somewhere or parking lot or whatever, you know, just to, like you said, just a good start point. And then you go from there, you know, you go get some professional, you know, tests done or, you know, from that point. Yeah. So, you know, that way you're not wasting money and wasting your time. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for showing me that. Yeah, no problem. His, his idea. Well, he had a couple of other okay. ideas. It was a marriage between the two. I, I ain't married nobody. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I married my wife. Yeah, there you go. I ain't married you. <laughs> yeah, that's a totally different camp. <laughs> okay, I'm the only one straight guy over here. Oh. <laughs> I don't think He's so. He's single if you're interested. <laughs> Sell him that. See him on the forum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>